One way to start hibiscus from seed or to keep your hibiscus growing, or I like to call it Rose of Sharon, is I don't do any wetting with the seeds. I just put it in a natural compost soil where it has like rabbit droppings or chinchilla droppings or guinea pig droppings, and I put them in buckets just like so. And I usually start them in the fall because then they'll come up in the spring and start to sprout. See, I'm poking in with the dirt. I'm going in about maybe 14 inches. As you can see, some of my starting growth here of, of the hibiscus from um, a new plant just growing all by itself there. And there's another size up, about a couple months old. And another one there, it's even smaller. And then I don't do anything with the wetting. It, wetting is just pretty much pointless as long as you just keep the uh, soil clean and debris from outside you'd be good. Here's a plant that's two years old. As you can see the seeds are not ready yet. The seeds will be ready here at the end of fall, maybe mid-November for my area which is Pennsylvania. And back here is a, was, a, was a full size Rose of Sharon or Hibiscus, whatever you want to call it, but my neighbor decided to cut it without my permission what you do, do not want to do because that stunts the growth of the plant and it will be short but I mean you could do that if you would like them shorter but if you want them to be nice and tall and cover a nice area then you would not cut them you just let them keep growing and or just cut off the bad end areas see they're behind their fence there with original full size for the Sharon of course it's mixed with a little bit of um, uh, morning glories that were starting to grow up in that area. But basically that's how I get my roses sharing to grow. I just keep uh, compost material handy and go from there and put it right into the soil. No special freezing of the seeds, no waiting in, in the spring or nothing like that. You just put it right there in the fall and it will save throughout um, the winter time as long as you have it covered well maybe some straw and grass but usually I just do salt, uh, straw or um, hay grass which usually you would get from like a chinchilla's food waste 